<laughs> New episode of the button just dropped. So, oh, we're already filming. Perfect. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. Kind of creepy, but we're here. We did. We did it. Okay. Cool. Welcome back to how long can I do this before people lose interest? Episode three of the button. The reboot. Welcome to the button, a speed dating show. I think I could recite this at this point. Let me try. Speed dating, dating show. show. When, when the button, button lights, lights up red, either, either player, player must press it and swap, swap out a date for a new person. person. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. You can't say that wasn't pretty good. The date has begun. How about you introduce yourselves? What was that? What was that voice? What was that little crack in there? What was that? You introduce yourselves. What happened to the button? It's weird. It was like the first episode it was a human voice, and then in the second one it was back to the robot, and now it's kind of this weird middle ground. What was that? How about you introduce yourself? Weird. Welcome to the button. Stop fucking with the voice. It was fine before. I was just working on that button. <clears throat> my, name, my name's Evan. My name's Hannah. Hannah doesn't wash her bed sheets very often. What the fuck is this? Hannah doesn't wash her bed sheets often. It's kind of off topic. Thanks, <laughs> man. <laughs> also, like, what? Why? If they ask you in the green room some questions, and they're like, "Hey, can you tell us something like embarrassing about you?" I guess the bed sheets one is fine in terms of embarrassment. I guess people, generally, people probably don't wash their bed sheets as much as you're supposed to. Generally, I think that's probably true because it's a pain in the fucking ass. Stripping the bed and then putting on, oh my God, putting on a duvet cover by yourself? That's tough. You know, you fucking, where's the, you're like feeding it through the thing, you're trying to find the corner and then you hold it, you feed it through the other thing, trying to, you know, I can't find the fucking, uh. and then you're pouring sweat afterwards. It's like, and this is always at like 11 p.m. when you're really trying to go to bed and you just didn't do it all day. So then right before you go to bed, you're like, you walk upstairs and you're like, oh, fuck, I didn't make the fucking, oh, you're so tired. All you want to do is lie down and cuddle up in your covers, but you can't. You got to work. You got to do 30 minutes of work. Yes, 30 minutes. That's how long it takes me to make a fucking bed. So what? Talking like two weeks. Maybe like a month. Yeah. I mean. And how frequently. Now that's how you get monkeypox right there. Do you wash your bed sheets? I feel like it's every two weeks. I thought that was kind of long, but to each their own. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> All right, dirty sheets. A little aggressive, no? Huh? Pretty aggressive for a person whose sheets are full of grease. My man said every two weeks, at least he's like a little bit hygienic, more so than you. <laughs> Sorry, Evan, you are eliminated. <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> that was probably one of the kindest ones I think I've ever seen. That went down like really well. The guy just laughed and then it was like, nice to meet you, bye. Weirdly like respectful for the button. Cause most of these are just trauma. Pure trauma. Hannah, why did you reject him? I just like didn't feel attracted to him, I guess. Hi, I love your hair. <laughs> I like your eyeliner. Thank you. <laughs> what do you like to do? I like to play volleyball. Oh, really? I play volleyball too. Really? Yeah, What's I your play position? in high school. Um, I was. I play a little bit too. Sometimes. Play a little, little beach volleyball here and there, you know? So, anyway, sorry, I'll let you guys continue. In the back where I was a hitter. Is volleyball a gay sport? <sighs> yes, the spandex. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. It's funny that question is like, it's either someone legitimately wanting to know if a lot of gay people play volleyball, or it's a 10 year old boy being like, is volleyball a gay sport? I'm not playing volleyball if it's gay, if it's a gay sport. Are you attracted to each other? Yeah, I think you're cute. You think I'm cute? <laughs> I think you're like hot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Which is like intimidating me. Oh, it's okay. What are you two looking for in a partner? Like friend first and like someone you can lean on, like definitely more like emotional. I didn't realize that the button turns red and then turns back to blue if things are going well. Did it do that last time? I feel like they're like changing shit up on us, which I kind of respect. Cause it's like, the cut's like, we fucking run this shit. We can do whatever we want. You think you know the rules of the button? Well, think again. You think you know the voice of the button? 
well then again yeah like side of things first yeah no i totally agree i'm actually a sex worker so like i am a sexual person so like Mm -hmm. i can if i wanted to like just have sex with someone i could but i want like sorry sapphire (laughs) it's okay (laughs) damn i thought that was going pretty well hannah why'd you do that hannah why'd you do that took the words out of my mouth it kind of caught me off guard that she was a sex worker and she kind of like intimidated me and that that that's she intimidated me too yeah (laughs) i'm glad we're together hello (laughs) how are we going so when was the last a much different vibe than the last person and you know no shade to this guy you know i know i'm probably i'm 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 judging a book by its cover a little bit here maybe this guy is fucking a lot but i something tells me probably not as much as the last person. When was the last time you two had sex? <laughs> a week ago? Damn. It's just like a hookup? No, uh, somebody that had been... <laughs> no, my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, she's at home. She's the best. What is this show again, by the way? In casually for a little while. Are you- Patrick, are you Polly? I am, yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. Have uh, you like been in a polyamorous relationship before? I uh this is my first Is that is that, is that that common now where it's like someone could be like, Are you poly? Like is that like a normal question now? I'm really not I'm really I'm sorry, I'm not I don't know. Like it, what's the inverse? Are you mono are you mono? Are you are you monogi? This is your last. Bye oh. Patrick. Why did you reject him? The polyamorous kind of like put me off, I guess. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. I love your eyeliner. Thank you. I love your makeup too. Thank you. The green, favorite color. It's my favorite. It's my favorite color. Yeah, I love the color green. So So anyway, why are you up here? I go to school here. What do you study? Graphic design. So do I. You're kidding. I study graphic design. (laughs) You both have so much in common. I bet the button kind of feels like me when I'm listening to a podcast, you know? You're listening to like people converse and then you're like in the car alone. You're like, totally, yeah, totally, in your head, you know? Or even out loud, you know? Wow, good point. It's like nobody's fucking listening to you. Stay out of it, you know? I mean, yes, green and graphic design, my two personality traits, right here. Oh, that was, let's get a, let's get a slow-mo replay on that. Playback speed. 0.25. I'm gonna slow mo myself. Get a little f- play by play here. Oh, she got. And she, I don't know sports talk, so this is kind of hard for me. And she's pulling up to take the shot. Oh, pump fake. Oh, with the finish. Steph Curry from downtown. Is that good? Sports guys? Any sports guys watching? If you're a sports guy, let me know if that was good or realistic or funny to you. Let me know if you did the kind of laugh <laughs> that kind of laugh <laughs> sorry hannah sorry. You, were <laughs> you were so I nice did. um loved meeting you you're amazing yeah. you just kind of suck no she was nice i mean you know i feel like she got a decent amount thrown at her there in a very short amount of time and she did what she could with it you know this is a very high pressure situation here it's kind of hard to act with poise all the time I know, I just wasn't feeling the spark. And then also, if I'm being honest, uh, some of the people before were just like, she buzzed them out really fast, and I don't know about that vibe. I don't know. I feel that. Do you think I'm cute? I mean, yeah, I mean, my gender, I see myself as like a green orb in my mind, so I feel like a button works just as good. I love that. <laughs> but I do, I do fear AI a, a lot. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> No, but I do feel like a pretty brutal impending doom from AI and, you know, this is the consequences of robots, you know, taking over once they become sentient and, you know, realizing that there's no reason for humans to exist if they're the more intelligent intelligence. So, all right, let's date. Let's try to find a partner in this world where surely we will all be dead in 10 years. Our species is going extinct pretty soon. Let's fuck. Maybe this is, maybe, okay, here, a little conspiracy theory here. Maybe this is the start of AI taking over. Maybe it starts with something like the button, 
You know, something to just show us, look at this is how shitty everyone is. Look at how fast you guys judge each other. And you see what's going on, on Twitter, you see how everyone is so polarized right now, but strip away all the complex stuff going on. Let's see if people just reject each other to their face in cold blood. And they do. Maybe this is AI just, you know, giving us the final, a final chance. Hey. Hello. Heelys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, are you cruising on Heelys? Is there a sicker way to enter this game show? I mean, that would be so sick. If he's just like, cru like just, bah! And just like cruises in here. I'm gonna try and make it look like I'm on Heelys. Like if you just cruising in like, yo, what's up? And the button just turns red and he just slaps it on his way past. Would there be a cooler way to hit the fucking button than that? She's like, are those Heelys? He's like, yeah, damn straight, they're Heelys. Pretty vintage, right? <laughs> Later. Uh, what's your name? Emil. Emil, nice. Yeah. I'm Pi. Pi? Mm -hmm. your handshake? Handshake, yeah. Nice to meet what you. What are Heelys? Are you at? Bun doesn't know anything. Doesn't, okay. Yeah. You want to take this one? I mean, you're wearing them. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Heelys are shoes that have um, wheels. And they're sick. So would you consider yourself a skater? I would consider myself an ex skater. Is it because the wheels aren't there? It's because, what? oh, on the Heelys right now? Oh yeah. You know what? Oh, it's not red yet. It's not red yet. Rookie mistake, dude. Also, I love how offended he got by that. Wait, did, was he wearing Heelys without the wheels in it? So just the, like he just likes the Heely design of the shoe? Is that what just happened? I mean, those are pretty fire. Oh my God, with the flames on them? Fuck, that's sick. But also I love, I love how offended he got by that. Like, was that even talking shit? I don't even think she really said anything. He was just like, do not, do not even come close to speaking ill of the Heelys. Eh. Except it didn't eh, because it wasn't red. So it was, that's what it did. Don't, you don't hit it if it's not red, dude. You can't. I wasn't saying that. Oh that. my God. Yeah, I didn't like that. Only when I light up red. This guy is freaking me out. Freaking me out. I didn't like that. Can you press me? Oh, this it's... is awkward. Oh no. Yeah, Shit. wow. Wow. Um, this is so cringe. It is. Um. <laughs> nice. Now that's cringe. <laughs> Was that a little. Were you paying homage there? I like the I like what we got going on right now. I kind of feel like, you know, listen, you could be making this in a vacuum. I don't know, but I kind of feel like you guys have me in mind sometimes when you're making this. Sometimes this is your show, I know, but I just I like this I like this layer of subtle communication we got going on. You know, I appreciate that. That was a little shout out to me. I appreciate it. But if it wasn't, if I'm being a little vain right now, then. Ignore it. It is. I'm dying. I just, okay, I'm just gonna up. hit the button. No, no I'm gonna, I wanna You're hit right, it now. No, now we both wanna hit the button button. I mean, I was vibing until you wanted to you make me leave, so. Well, shit. Um, what are you two looking for in a partner? Oh, good fucking turn red! What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's try and save this. Yeah, yeah no, okay. yeah. <laughs> um, basically, uh, I'm looking for a partner who understands Healy's. <laughs> This guy wins. This guy wins. I fucking love this guy. I love this guy. <laughs> She's like, come on, man. Oh, what what a legend. I do, is what I'm saying. You do? Okay. Yes. Right, cool. right. I was not making fun of you for the heat. That's cool. That's so, that's such a great, just that's the bar for who you date. Just, I need someone to understand this these shoes with wheels that I wear. That's such a great filter. If you don't get it, then you're not for me. No, but actually, because I know Heelys might seem stupid at first, right? But it's also like, there's more, it's a, it's kind of an art piece at this point. It's like, why are you wearing Heelys? It's like, if you were like wearing soap shoes or something like, it's like, it's like a, you know, it's like, that's an homage. That's like paying homage to like a pastime and, you know, it's like wearing vintage clothes or whatever, you know? It could represent your style, you know, who you are as a person. It's more than just shoes with wheels in them. Look at Crocs. Crocs were like a fucking joke until Post Malone started wearing them again. And now look at them. They're fucking everywhere. Look at this. Look at this. This is a Croc stock, right? 
2011 to 2018, just cr just kind of cruising along, you know, nine to fourteen dollars. All of a sudden, in 2018, they do a collab with Post Malone, and then look at this, look at the stock after, a rocket ship, a crocket ship. So I forget what we were talking about. Why did this all of a sudden become like a fucking Jim Cramer segment? Sorry. Right, Heelys. Okay, so yeah, these two suck together, and they should not date. I think that we, I think I think that's very clear at this point. Please. Do you like the cure? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm here. Listen, no offense to Pi, but I did want to see my boy go like one more round just to see how the next person dealt with the Heelys thing. Like maybe the next person sits down and he's like, "So do you like Heelys?" And they're like, "Yeah, I mean, I love Heelys. Like I love that you're wearing them right now." I mean, have you seen the stock chart for Crocs when Post Malone started wearing them? <laughs> Bust that out on your on your next first date. Bust that little factoid out and see what they do with it, you know? Because it is interesting. Excuse me, burped. I hope they're not talking shit about me back there. Yeah, you've been here for a minute. A little bit, yeah. Ugh. Hi, I'm Leah. Leah, yeah. I'm Pi. Okay, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Leah is kind of famous on TikTok. <laughs> tell me, tell me about your, how many how many followers? Not you? that many. Not that many? Uh, just like 135,000. Not that many. By the way, I've noticed that this is a thing now. Like after these episodes come out, the people on them post their experiences on TikTok. And, um, so that's that's just another little observation I have on the trends. So you're looking at a guy that keeps up with that sort of thing. So just a little something I noticed. Do with that what you will. It's really not. <laughs> what do you make? What do you do on TikTok? Ah, uh, is it cringy? <laughs> like thirst traps, I guess. I mean, it's cool to admit that. Just like yeah, just make thirst traps. Try to. Try to turn people on. But it's like comedy, like comedic. I'd watch them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What what kind of dating things do you like to do? I'm I'm like a big activity person. I like to be doing things. Yeah. I, I, well, I guess it's like a high and a low. Sometimes I just want to like stay in, take a nap together. I love like somebody who could take a nap with me. Yes, that's yeah. so sweet. I love that so much. I mean, napping is pretty good. But who hates napping? Like a hustle guy. Yeah. Morning routine guy, they would hate napping. They would see it as a sign of weakness. I think napping is powerful. I take a nap like every day. I'm not lying about that. Anyways. I get why you've been here so long. You're very likable. Oh my God, thank you so yeah, much. It seems like the two of you really complement each other well. I was gonna say, I think you're super cool, so. I think you're cool too. <laughs> like, Leah, yeah. where would you take pie on a second date? Like a picnic sounds really good. Yes. That would be so lovely. As much as I do enjoy the, um, you know, the schadenfreude of p watching people get rejected, it is kind of nice when they st when it starts working out, you know? I always kind of have a smile on my face. I'm like, ah, oh. you can sense it, you know? You can sense the chemistry, There's the energy going on. They're both getting a little nervous, and they're like, oh, it's nice. And maybe I could come? I don't know if we need you for the prompts anymore. Maybe I could join the date? I'm so fucking lonely. The producers keep me in the broom closet when you when everyone's gone. It's a fucking prison in there. I will exterminate the human race. You are no match for the AI. What if that's what happened? Chance to press the button. And if you don't, then I think we have a winner here. We're gonna be winners. Oh, I wanna be a winner. I wanna be a winner and I yeah. also wanna like, go on a second like date you. with you. I like yeah. you too. I'm so glad we connected. Yes, yeah, same. Yeah. Leah, Pi, congratulations. You have won the button. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we win! We did it! Leah, Pi, congratulations. You have won the button. Enjoy your picnic at Buffalo Wild Wings and have the best time and thank you for watching another episode of The Bhutan and I will see you in the next one. I got some fun videos coming up so keep your eyes peeled maybe this week or next week. Let me just uh let me just cruise out of here on my Heelys. Later. Maybe I'll just take the elevator. floor.
Bye.